everyone, it's Lucy and this is my updated pastel ombre mermaid unicorn my little pony hair tutorial. So um, you will see how I go from having you know no makeup, dirty hair, washing my hair, dyeing it, rinsing it out and then this is just probably like 90% dry. Uh, so it was pretty faded beforehand. And now it's just like a little bit more vibrant. I didn't do it crazy, crazy bright like I usually do because it's spring now in Australia. So I just wanted to sort of keep it fresh but not really, really dark and bright. If you'd like to see how I get this pastel ombre hair look, then keep watching. Um, I will just show you what it looks like. I'll just do a little <laughs> rotation so you can see what it looks like before. First, I'll show you what I use. The first thing that you will need is two of these uh, you know, <laughs> what are these things called? These hair dye mixing bowls and mixing brushes like this and I just got mine from Price Tack or Priceline and they're good because they have a handle so you can pick them up really easily. The second thing you're going to need is two hair clips um, and a towel which I don't have, I'm going to have to go and get one. So you use like an old towel um, just to wrap around you and I clip it up and sometimes like when I used to have bleach all the way from the top I would section my hair with the clips as I went but seeing as though it's just on the ends it's pretty easy hopefully as my hair grows longer and longer it'll be so easy to, I'll just like divide my hair in half and dye it here and dye it here but anyway it's still not that easy I do have to kind of work out what I'm doing all over but yes one or two of these hair clips and you're going to need some conditioner which is white um, I just use the Tresemme one because it's white and it's about ten dollars and then your hair dyes of choice um, uh, lately I've been using Manic Panic Ultraviolet and Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink again everyone always tells me oh I like this dye or I like that time anyway this is what I like to use it's vegan it doesn't damage my hair if it in fact moisturizes my hair because I leave the conditioner on for 45 minutes and I've never had any trouble with these colors it's never come out you know, the wrong colour. What is in the bowl is pretty much how it will look on the hair. So this is what I like to use. Trust me, I've tried every single product on the market and I just come back to these because they're reasonably priced and I just like supporting this brand. So that's my story. And you will need a shower cap, just one of these cheap disposable ones which you can get from $2 shop, Daiso, anywhere like that. So this is what I've been doing lately. I put my hair up in a shower cap. It just makes it easier for, you know, sitting around watching TV for an hour and not worrying about getting hair dye everywhere. And you will need gloves. So I use the Ansel powder-free gloves. So I keep a box handy because sometimes I go through a couple of pairs. So that. Let's get started. I'm just going to obviously wash my hair and then I'll be back to show you how I do it. I want to show you my bra. Okay, so I've just washed my hair and I just shampooed it. I didn't use conditioner. I also want to mention that it's also important to just get like a cheap black bath mat from Kmart and put that down on the floor um, because you will likely spill dye on whatever surface you're working on and my bathroom is pretty much white, so do that. Um, so I've put this old scungy towel around my shoulders. First thing you need to do is put your gloves on before you mix any dye or open up any containers, put your gloves on. If for some reason you get dye on your hands during this process, it's okay, we'll wash off eventually. It's not, it's not permanent, so it's not the biggest deal ever. All right, gloves on. Um, and I'm just parting my hair where I normally part it. But yeah, it's gonna get pretty messy and not very, um, there's no real like special technique to this, but hey, I mean, I'm making a video, so there must be some technique. So the first color that I'm gonna mix is the purple. Um, so get your bowl and your brush, and the first thing you wanna do is pour the conditioner in because I, like I said, I'm doing this as pastel as possible. I'm just brightening up the pastel. I'm not trying to create like a really dark color. So shake the conditioner out into the bowl. It's probably gonna make some disgusting noises in a minute. Um, I usually make too much dye because I'm so used to having long hair 
but I'm going to start with maybe, it's probably about half a cup, about that much conditioner, and just keep it open because you got gloves on, you're going to get messy, so it's going to be really hard to do anything really. <laughs> so the first colour that I'm going to add to that is ultraviolet. I'm going to try and only put like a tiny drop, maybe like a teaspoon or less into here. Uh, I usually just pour it out, but it's kind of solidified. So I'm just going to scoop it out with the brush. Probably just that much, like a little, not even. I'm trying to keep it really pastel, so just like a tiny little bit. And mix that in. So that's the colour that it is now. Oh, of course my hair is bleached, by the way. I mean, you can only really do this on bleached hair. So that is the colour that I've decided on. And I usually mix a tiny bit of pink into it, but this time I'm just going to leave it plain. And then for the ends of my hair, I'm going to use a, another bowl and mix in conditioner. But I'm not going to use as much because this is only a tiny, tiny bit just for the ends of my hair. So two tablespoons of conditioner. And I'm going to use the hot, hot pink. This stuff is really intense, so, and but this is a lot runnier than the other one. I'm just going to try and do like a tiny little drop that tiny little drop but I'll show you how intense that is when I brush it in if I can find the brush so one little drop makes that pink color I don't know if you can see the lights very harsh in here but it makes this pinky color so it's real like cotton candy pink yeah. I'm actually gonna start with the ends and I'm just going to make sure that I've got pink on all the ends because once I put the purple on, it's going to kind of disappear. So just scoop up, like I've literally just grabbed like half my hair in my hand like that. And this is why you need gloves. And I'm just going to paint it on to the ends like that. I'm just looking in the mirror, not at the camera guys. So you're painting it on like that and then flip it over if you can and chuck on a bit more, like that, and push it together. So this is just to kind of like make sure that the ends are pink and obviously it's going to get mixed in, but just try and make sure that the first colour that touches the ends is pink. So I can tell that this is a very subtle pink compared to what I usually do. And then the other side. Now you need to cover the rest of the hair with the remaining purple hair dye. So I am going to do little sections and I'm just going to use my fingers to be honest because I'm lazy today. So I'm just getting a scoop, smushing it on and I'm just doing it from where the bleach starts and overlapping it slightly. And I'm just kind of massaging it in and when it gets to the pink I'm just kind of dragging it down and blending it. Flip it over, spread it out like that and make sure the hair dye is within that whole section. There's no real technique to this. I just, this is just how I do it. Mush, mush, mush. Flip it over because quite often you forget to flip it over and check the other side and just really like smush it in with your fingers and make sure it's all in there. And then when I get to the back, there's really not very much bleach, it's more just down the ends. And then underneath, I get really lazy with this section. I just kind of like mush it in and hope that it gets through to the other side. Uh, then maybe just pick up some of these back sections because it's nothing worse than dyeing your hair and forgetting to kind of do the back. And just make sure that wherever the blonde is, you cover it up. And seriously, this used to be so much harder when my hair was fully bleached because I can kind of get away with having patchiness now, but when your hair is all one colour and you miss a bit, it's so obvious. I'm just going to take another back section and make sure that there's some purple in that. So I keep doing it section by section and just massaging in the purple and blending it back down over the pink. If you go completely back over the pink, that's fine. You don't have to like suddenly stop where the pink is. And it's okay to put this hair dye over like 
unbleached hair, it won't really do anything. Um, unless you've got like natural highlights, it might pick up a little bit, but not much. And when this washes out, your hair will be so silky from the conditioner, it won't matter that you're putting this on unbrushed hair. But if you want to brush your hair beforehand, you can. It's just if you put any products like detanglers or whatever, uh, it's going to probably interfere with how the dye takes to the hair. And you grab all your hair together and you can like, you know, unpart it or just get it all over to one side and just run your fingers through it and just mush it all together and make sure that it's kind of all got some hair dye on it. And then I grab this section that's mainly purple and just kind of do that all the way down. And then I grab a little bit more pink and just put it back on the ends like this, flip it over like that and just massage it in and then grab a bit more purple and just chuck it here. And that's, that's how you do the ombre. That's how you do the ombre. You get it up into a shower cap and wait 45 minutes to an hour. So next thing I take my gloves off. So try and pull your glove off like that and then grab the glove like that and then pull the other glove off like that. So one glove is inside the other glove. Hee. On goes the shower cap. And I've used this one several times. And it doesn't matter if the dye touches your hands now, because it's just, it's fine. It won't stain your hands at this stage. So then I wash up the bowls, pack up um, any mess that I've made, and then I go and watch TV or YouTube for 45 minutes. Okay, so the hair dye has been washed out, just rinsed out with water, no shampoo or anything like that. So my hair does feel like extremely conditioned and obviously it's still wet, but you can see that the color is, you know, slightly more vibrant than it was before. So I'm going to put in some L'Oreal Miracle Oil and that's just what I like to use. You can use Moroccan oil or any other kind of hair oil. Hopefully you can see that it is definitely more vibrant than it was before. Mm -hmm.